Pack Bolt Storm for one Lightning and a Colorless is able to do massive amounts of damage for the Lightning you have in play. And so all of that combined, he just decided to strip all the abilities in his deck. He's not going to play Jirachi. He's not going to play Zen AGX. And he is going to go with that full four greens exploration, a supporter that we've seen throughout the history of Pokemon do a lot of great things, but it's very restrictive in its deck building opportunities. Absolutely. And we can go ahead and look at some of Natalia's previous accomplishments here. Again, she is bringing that pretty standard Pikachu and Zekrom deck. She is the regional champion in 2017. As we said, she also has a Latin American top eight in both 2012 and 2016. And of course, I think her shining achievement for a lot of players here is at tw uh, 2018 World's Top 64. The regional championship means a lot, but I think uh, especially for these players that don't get to compete at this stage, um, very often that world's finish, even though it's not, you know, it's on a big win, it's on a top eight, is very, very important. Yeah, I remember playing Natalia and Worlds back in 2013. So it's she's been a stalwart of the game, especially in the Latin America region. Now let's take a look Speaking at Rahul and his accomplishments for us. Uh, he has uh, 2019 European uh, International top eight. Uh, it's probably his most recent recent accomplishment. Uh, the top 16 at Oceania as well. And then a uh, top four regionals in 2017 and a top 16 at 2018 Worlds. So again, very similar to Natalia here, except without that regionals win. Yeah, just a lot of very consistent, very good finishes. I mean, Rahul finishes always in the top players at the end of the season. Uh, he just, he was really lacking that big first place victory, but you know, don't, don't get me wrong. Both of these players are fantastic players. They're here for a reason. They're, they've already proven themselves and they're ready to prove themselves even more. I think we can get ready and go into this match. Yeah, I'm excited. Have, uh, third match of the Invitational. And so how do you feel about the specific matchup here? Because, you know, I know that Pikachu and Zekrom uh, mirror match can be a little a little first turn dependent and both, you know, both decks are kind of really trying to go off aggressively. Do you think do you think anything changes for the Bolton side? Do you think that, you know, Rahul is uh, is is advantage or disadvantage in any significant way? I feel like uh, Rahul's a little bit more consistent, but he's a slower version of the deck. And then if you uh, take into account Natalia's list, she has cards like Marnie to be able to disrupt the setup. And that's going to be very important to kind of counteract the Green's exploration strategy coming from Rahul, where he tries to stockpile all these important trainers in his hand. Yeah, I think I think playing a, choosing to play a Green's exploration deck when when there's so many Marnies in the format is just something... Uh, is, is a really tough choice to make. And I think uh, Rahul just may have predicted the metagame a little bit off here, but we'll see how this uh, how this Bolton deck will fare here. We do see the namesake green exploration uh, supporter in Rahul's hand. I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards there off of the Speed Lightning Energy. Yeah, Speed Lightning Energy is probably the one of the best cards we've gotten out of Rebel Clash. Being able to just draw two cards when you get attached to the Lightning for your turn it's free, and in this deck, it just makes it so much more consistent. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you are paying a cost in the any any kind of Pikachu and Zekrom, Takako Prism Star based kind of deck by playing the Speed Lightning Energy. But wow, it just lets you it rewards you so much by being able to draw so many cards and just even when you you know you get Marnied low or you know we get you get reset stamped as we saw in some of the past games of this bracket, just that card can bring you right back into it. Yeah, and it's looking like rolls. Opting for the Tapu Koko V here, another very powerful attacker in the set, being able to do 200 damage really out of nowhere for just three energy. Uh, but he's making sure to check his prizes. This deck plays qu quite a few one of items and trainers, so you want to make sure you know what's in your deck before you greens. Yeah, you definitely never want to play a greens and kind of, you know, set up a turn in the future and just not be able to pull off what you need. We saw a pretty um, you know, mild first turn. Of course, Rahul is going first, so he can't play any supporter cards. We just saw, you know, searching out a Pokemon, touching an energy, drawing some cards. And Pikachu and Zekrom GX is the deck that is known for big explosive turns. I think that's actually one of the main draws of playing the deck is just that you can really kind of go off on turn one, Tapu, Coco, Prism Star, attach a bunch of energy, you know, even get a big knockout with the, with the, with the right selection of cards. Yeah, well, that's where Roll's kind of missing that explosiveness. By playing this Greens engine, you lose out on Dedenne GX and uh, cards like Jirachi. So uh, he's really going to have to navigate this game in a way where he knows Natalia is going to come out of the gate swinging first. 
Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you know, Rahul is a a fantastic player and he's playing this deck for a reason. Not really one that we've seen a whole lot of. It's existed on the tournament bracket or it's existed in the tournament series a little bit uh, in in the past in these online tournaments, but never, um, you know, we did not expect to see this sort of deck at the Invitational here. And every other deck is a lot more standard, even the, you know, Rasa Spiritomb deck. So we see an attachment there, another Speed Lightning Energy. Does yeah, find uh, again just being able to draw these cards, it's very important. And Natalia gonna go ahead and play a Marnie here. And I think this is the the real power of Marnie, too, is just setting your opponent's hand to four and you getting five means that you can afford to kind of play it even even after even before Rahul has played a greens, right? It's just it's already a really solid disruption supporter either way. And especially if you can kind of catch Rahul in a spot where he hasn't been able to use the cards from greens. Uh, it can just be amazing. But that being said, Natalia's turn wasn't that classic uh, explosive peek around turn. And she's just forced to retreat and pass. Yeah, uh, retreats to that. Alolan Raichu and Raichu GX tag team. China just maybe take a hit here. Uh, and even hoping maybe Rahul just tries to take this turn to set up even more. We do see the Volkner here after getting Marnie. We have no greens exploration. But this looks like this Volkner is going to find a basic lightning energy and a switch. Oh no, he, he's he's uh, changing his mind. I was going to go ahead and find a Poke Gear 3.0. Yeah, we do see some like of the. Turn, it looks like this turn's really just Electrify from Roll here, trying to set up that Pikachu and Zekrom GX to Full Blitz next turn, uh, and hoping to maybe hit a Greens with that Poke Gear that he got. Well, that's the sort of thing too, right? Is like this because you're playing the greens and because you're focused so much on Bolton, especially your your couple turns, your first couple turns are just going to be electrifying, right? They're not going to be explosive. You're not going to be getting knockouts. This is how you're relying on setting up when you don't have Pokemon without abilities or with abilities rather. Yeah, and here we go. Natalia's turn. She has the energy and energy switch in hand with the Zeraora GX being able to use Thunderclap Zone to retreat for free. And that means only one energy away from actually taking uh, a big like leap forward here with uh, full blitz. It looks like she's going to go ahead and promote the Bolton V energy switch. Looks like she's considering exactly where it's going to go. It's going to come from the Pikachu and Raichu, or Raichu Raichu rather, and go to the Bolton up front. So Natalia, again, uh, I think... She, you know, just kind of choosing to play a little bit more conservative of a game, not necessarily trying to go in hard with that full blitz. Yeah, well, having the big charm drawn off the professor's research is able to help this Boltoon V kind of stabilize a little bit. It is one of the more fragile Pokemon in the deck compared to your other attackers of the tag team variety. Yeah, definitely. I think Bolton V has been an innovation that uh, a lot of players adapted into the Pikachu and Zekrom, but I know that there was also a lot of skepticism around it. And how we see Rahul is basing an entire deck around it, really showing off its power here. Oh, we and do here's find a big card. A Green's Exploration. All right. So depending on what Rahul wants to do this turn, this Green's will open up a lot for him. He does have that Pikachu and Zekrom with three energy on the bench. And looks like he's opting for that switch. Uh, another card that's in Roll's deck that is very big in this matchup is that one of Power Plant Stadium being able to shut off uh, all Pokemon GX abilities in play. And uh, that could be a big momentum swing card uh, later on. Yeah, Power Plant kind of saying, okay, I want to bring everyone down to my level. I want to slow the game down. If I don't get abilities, you don't either. But it looks like Switch and Great Catcher are what's going to be found off the greens here. We do see these switch into the Pikachu and Zekrom. Great catcher costing two cards, but allowing Rahul to kind of pick off what he wants here. looks like he's going to take a second to pause. Yeah, this Considering is the, what thing the you target have, here. This is the thing you have to worry about. Pikachu and Zekrom is the way that Roll's able to charge up a lot of his Pokemon outside of Electrify, but the... Or uh, for Natalia, but the Raichu and Raichu GX is the one way you can actually take big knockouts. So Roll has to watch out for that. We do see the full blitz touching energy to the Tapu Koko. Back on Natalia's side now. We do see a tag call. A lot of these Pikachu and Zekrom decks have adopted this uh, tag call sort of engine uh, going against you, know, not playing any more Jirachis, not messing with any of that, just playing some tag team supporters and having a really efficient way to both find your Pokemon, you know, your Pikachu and Zekrom tag teams, as well as some of your uh, crucial supporters. So I really like that change out of most of the Pikachu and Zekrom decks. 
Yeah, it also has the ability to go get a card like Guzman Hala tag team a supporter that just lets you search for a special energy and you can search for speed at lightning energy and draw two cards off it. Your tag call basically drew you two cards. Yeah, your, your tag call just opens up so many different possibilities. Again, even compared to some of the other um, Pikachu and Zekrom decks, it does cut off your explosiveness a bit. As we're going to see throughout this tournament, we saw you know earlier in the day, in the top half of the bracket, Jirachi is a very powerful card, especially when combined with cards like Switch and Scoop Up Net. But I think the green, the uh, tag call engine rather just gives you so many different options. We see a quick ball finding the Tapu Koko Prism Star, another classic kind of electric Pikachu and Zekrom based card that Rule just cannot play in his deck. Yeah, uh, and being able to quick fall here for that to Dene GX, uh, we're going to see a really great turn from Natalia here. Probably even trying to go for some sort of knockout if she draws the right cards. Well, she does have that electric power there. There's Thunder Mountain, and of course, there's a Dene. A fresh hand of six for Natalia. All right, energy switch could do something. It depends. Does she have the two lightning in her discard? I believe she does. I know she has one at least. We see the attachment to the Raichu Raichu. I guess we're going to find out here. Dance of the Ancients. Well, if it, yeah, there is plenty of energy in the discard. And with that energy switch, depending on what Natalia wants to do, she could probably take the knockout on the active here with the big charm. It only has 270 HP, but with four energy and the Thunder Mountain Prism Star in play, Alolan Raichu could take the knockout. But all right. It's looking like the retreat. Oh, this is big. Looks like that's exactly what she wants to do. Of course, retreating for free because of the Zero Aura. Playing that energy switch. Fourth energy on the Raichu and Alolan Raichu. All right, and this right, is a Lightning ahead. Ride GX. Electro Power means 280 damage, and there's three prizes for Natalia right out of nowhere. If that's half of the game over, switching right to that to Dene GX, Tali taking three big prizes and really showing how explosive Pikachu and Zekrom can be and knocking out a 270 hit point Pokemon. Rahul now promotes the Tapu Koko V, all loaded up with three energy. Looks like he's going to go yeah, ahead and thing, retreat. The thing you have to realize is Rahul just lost a Pikachu and Zekrom GX with three energy attached. Granted, Boltoon V is still able to do quite a bit amount of damage. And with that boss's orders, Bolt Storms for the knockout on the Dedenne GX. And right away, Roll takes two more prizes. And so Roll's going down to four prizes, not really having a whole lot uh, to do that turn. Just kind of saying, all right, I'm happy with this Electric Power. There's the knockout. Let's see how Natalia can respond. But, you know, Natalia has cost herself no energy. Still four, five, six, seven energy on the board. Finding another Pikachu in Zekrom GX and looks like a Guzma and Hala supporter as well with this tag team. I think the tag team supporters are just so cool, you know, giving you the ability to have one effect but then pay an extra cost for more. Just And when you combine them with playing tag call in your deck, you're just leading to so many decisions about what you can do in a game and where kind of where you can take every single turn. Yeah, and it could be pretty important too because Natalia got that Guzma and Hala from the prizes last turn. So... Uh, if she didn't get that, she wouldn't have actually had a supporter to take with the tag call. Energy attachment for the turn goes on the active Pikachu and Zekrom GX, while Natalia will be consulting discard piles here. Does have the supporter to play. Also has the ability to reset Stamp or Hool. He's sitting with only three cards in hand. Natalia definitely yeah, going to take, awkward... take her time here. And... This is the awkward point, though. I don't know if you want to reset Stamp, because it'll... Just make Rahul draw an extra card. Uh, you, he already has three cards, so it's really just, do you feel that he has something in his hand or not? And we see Natalia going through that in her head, like, do I full blitz right now? Like, what is the optimal play here? Yeah, really, really crucial turn of the game. She is going to decide to retreat just so the timer goes off. Yeah, and here Boltstorm does plenty of damage. Uh, really just Bolton V taking big knockouts out of nowhere once the game progresses in the late later stages. All right, now Natalia is down to only one prize to Rahul's four. Tapu Koko V, the lone Pokemon for Rahul, Guzma and Hala. Looks like he is going to pay the extra cost. There goes the Prism Star. There goes the Energy Switch. 
the speed lightning energy. Great grab, as you said before, the speed lightning into the power plant. So I'm drawing two more cards. Not winners, though. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and get speed of power. Need an Electro Power off the top of the deck with that speed energy, but just could not find it. That big charm really proving, uh, putting in a lot of work and having that Bolton V stay alive. Yeah, the big charm does so much. And, you know, even though Rahul lost that game, I think it, this game does kind of show the angles he was working with here where if things got a little bit differently. That power plant turn comes down, you know, that power plant comes down that turn. He finds the electric power, gets a knockout. And, it, you know, Vitaly can be in a rough spot. It's just I don't like how much time the Bolton V attacks give the Pikachu and Zekrom player. Yeah, uh, we, we definitely saw uh, that there. And really just the big turning point was Natalia taking that knockout on the Pikachu and Zekrom that was fully charged up with her own Alolan Raichu and Raichu GX. All right, so starting game two off now, we'll see if Rahul can manage to take a win and force a game three if it will be all Natalia all the time. We see a Raichu and Alolan Raichu on Natalia's side of the board. Looks like the lone Pokemon for Rahul is going to be Bolton V. Both players' hands looking all right here. Uh, Natalia having a supporter to deal with, but Rahul's kind of just, oh man, uh, what's going on? He has that Poke Gear, but not much else. He needs it to find a greens, possibly. Yeah, just setting, setting the um, Bolton V there. Rahul is starting things off. The turn draw for the turn is Poke Gear three point oh. All right, switching so to Rahul's view here. But again, there's also just the the fear of if Natalia draws exactly what she needs, can get that easy turn one attack off. 200 HP is not a lot. Yeah, it feels wild to say that, but 200 HP is not a lot. I, you know, this, this can definitely go wrong for Rahul. Bolton is not safe. The big charm, the big charm helps. You know, it's not, it's nowhere near a guarantee. Pokey Gear 3.0 is going to find the Greens exploration. Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot play that here now, but. It's going to be crucial for next turn. And here's the hope and pray past the turn. Hope Natalia doesn't have the the best possible start. Yeah, I, I think it's, I mean, obviously, I think we will probably wish he could do a little bit more in his turn, but I think it's fine to just, uh, you know, yeah, Natalia would have to truly have a fantastic start here in order to get the knock. I, I suspect I have a lot more Pokemon to play. But that being said, you can never underestimate the power of Pikachu and Zekrom GX if we see the quick ball first play from Natalia. Yeah, I believe that Natalia actually card. top decked the quick ball for the turn as well. Uh, a really crucial card in helping to get this uh, quick setup. Yeah, going going ahead and getting a Boltend of her own. Kind of you saw the power last game of Boltend as a setup Pokemon for, for both players, really, but especially for Natalia, that's its kind of primary use is okay, I can set up early in the game and then maybe I can take a knockout uh, you know, in a in a weird spot later, which is exactly what the traditional Pikachu and Zekrom decks have been doing, whereas uh Rahul is decided to just kind of go all in here. So we're gonna yeah, go ahead like and suit up. It's like a discount version of full blitz without the damage. <laughs> yeah, essentially, just you know, a two prize version. All right, and uh, a lot of energy from this professor's research from Natalia here. Not something you want to see to discard with the uh, the GX and that Thunder Mountain Prism. So just a pass of the turn back to a rule. Yeah, so now Rahul has kind of been given a chance. There's not even a way to retreat on Natalia's side. There's nothing going on. So this is kind of playing into Rahul's game, right? He Natalia had to basically take uh, her first turn off, and now Rahul is going to play the Greens Exploration and try to kind of get things moving. Yeah, considering uh, the taking slower that the game power goes, plant. The slower the game goes, Rahul's almost for sure favored. Absolutely. And you see Rahul considering taking that power plant, but uh, Natalia also actually has the um, Mars Shadow on the other side of the board there used to be a time i think early in this format when the pikachu and zekron players didn't have a way to remove a stadium besides a stadium of their own so once you could counter the thunder mountain prism star you were good but now i think a lot of them are playing that marsh shadow saying okay power plants are a real thing i have to really play around it here yeah and then we you see can see all the call. cards gets that pikachu and zekron gx and attaches to it and we'll see electrify most likely but uh, this is a solid turn from Roll here. 
they're going to see a quick ball into the Tapu Koko V. Now we're going to see the Electrify. And this is kind of, again, exactly the type of game that Rahul wants to play. He's up on energy. Um, he can just really kind of do whatever he wants here. He, he has more supporters in hand. Oh, wow. Another energy off the top for Natalia here. And, oh, and another one off the two. Another one. Ooh. The quick ball does have a little bit of solace, but she's going to need to find something really good here. Maybe Zerora to even retreat and get the Bolton in the active spot just to deal some damage. Yeah, it looks like what that's what she's going to decide to do. Quick ball for the Zerora and just saying, you know, I don't. Or Electrify. Yeah. I, I don't know how uh, how uh, hard I can really afford to go here with all these energy in my hand. I'm just going to go ahead. Let's Electrify. And let's start loading up my tag team Pokemon. And I do like spreading out the energy, uh, just knowing that uh, your opponent's going to have access to Asa's orders and Great Catcher. You really don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, yeah, and this is the, the power. Draw the yeah, power speed lightning. This changes so much. But like you said before, that Marshadow is really just making that power plant null and void. Not really much that Roll could do to counteract that Marshadow. And we're we're seeing the the power of Bolton in the way that Rahul has built the deck as well. Um, just being able to say, okay, you know, I've taken the first turn to electrify. You know, I, I can electrify more if I want to, but I can also start doing real amounts of damage. Um, you know, I'm, I'm loading up. I'm not really in any fear either way if you if you knock me out i have a bunch of energy all over the board if you don't knock me out you're just powering up my second attack it's just a really you see we're all just playing a very simple turn there yeah uh roll was counting his energy he's trying to see if he can go for the bolt storm but i believe he only had 190 damage uh with that electro power in hand and 40 damage left on the bolt and it wasn't looking good so that's why he chose to electrify that turn yeah, not quite yet. Just we're really using that turn to build up the board state a little bit more. And Natalia, considering what she wants to do, looks like we're going to start things off with a Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Yeah, Thunder Mountain. This is scary because once this card comes down, it means that both players are going to go to the races. It, every attack in their deck is lowered by a lightning. And when both players are playing all lightning Pokemon, it's a free-for-all. Yeah, it's awkward when you have the kind of stadiums that help your opponent too and you're just kind of saying okay well i guess i'll play this so i can get advantage of it first yeah and um, with natalia the choosing to finally the dene change that hand away uh three basic lightning hit the discard and there's no energy recovery in natalia's deck so they're gone for good looks like we're gonna see an energy switch here from the zero over to the pikachu and zekrom Promoting yeah, this and is the there. same play we saw earlier. Probably the biggest old... difference in the two decks. Yeah, just just the ability to power up the the Raichu and Alolan Raichu like that and take those huge knockouts, um, especially given um, that Rahul doesn't play that many that many three prizers. So exposing one of them like that not only puts Natalia up on the prize trade, but also just. Um, eliminates you know his his relatively few attackers compared to Natalia. Yeah, and Natalia bringing up the the Dene GX uh, does not want to uh, have that Marshadow come into harm, uh, especially seeing the power plant discarded. Uh, you never know what's going to really go on, but uh, this the Dene is really going to be an easy knockout for Rahul here. Yeah, and we saw this, this very similar play. Talia just putting up this Dene last turn, saying, okay, I took three. I can take this prize exchange for two here. We see Green's Exploration, the whole reason that Rahul can run this deck like this, finding the double Electro Power draw. And there's oh, the well, Great this Catcher. Is great. The Great Catcher bringing up that Alolan Raichu and Raichu GX with the double Electro Power. You can now Thunderous Bolt for exactly 260 damage and... Boom, Rahul takes three prizes right after Natalia just took hers. 
Yep, we're tough. And that's the, really the power of Green's exploration, right? It can find you the exact cards you need at the exact right time. It's not always more explosive. It doesn't always work out like that. But when it does, it just allows you to sculpt your hand perfectly. And now the action is back on Natalia. Three prizes, two, three, all tied up over here. And suddenly Rahul's board state looks a lot better as we only have two energy on Natalia's side. Yeah, uh, looking really good for Rahul here. Uh, both players being able to take out a tag team GX with three energy or more attached. But it seems like Rahul had the better setup to go after. We're seeing a tag call from Natalia here, taking that Guzma and Hala. Going to go ahead and look through the rest of her deck. For selecting that lone Guzma and Hala. Volkaner now. This looks like the supporter is going to come down. Natalia being very deliberate in her choices, making sure she navigates this game perfectly. A lot on the line here at the Invitational. Lone Quick Ball. Yeah, discarding that great catcher. That is something that actually does zero or has zero effect on the board right now. Or whole only having Pokemon V in play. When we see the Dance of the Ancients, get kind of paying Natalia back a little bit for having to discard all those energy earlier with the Dead Age. All right. So with that Thunder Mountain Prism in play, that means Pikachu and Zekrom can attack if she wants to, but it will cost a little bit for her. Oh, here we actually see the second, the Dene GX, discarding the hand, really digging here. And Natalia getting rid of all of those resources, hitting a reset stamp, double Electro Power. So we're going to go ahead and set rules back to hand, back to only three cards. That's not bad. Uh, these Electro Powers almost guarantee the knockout for Natalia here. Because Thunder Mountain Prism Star is in play, of course. Going to go ahead and move to this Pikachu and Zekrom. Considering where to put the air balloon, decides to attach it just to the active. That's a and big uh, knockout. There we go. Yeah, but no energy to search for. And that is a telling sign. When your opponent sees that you don't get to attach energy off of full blitz, it's kind of a weakness. It's like, okay, maybe I could just take this knockout and then you won't even have a rebuttal. And yeah, when we do see the uh, three prizes remaining for Rahul, so if. If Rahul can find a way to take this knockout here, it will be the game. There's a tool scrapper getting into the big charm and the air balloon, kind of clearing the board there. All right, speed energy does not find what Rahul needs. He'll probably just use it to discard, but it's looking a little bit like Natalia might be stabilizing here. Looks like no cards to find off that Guzman Hollow. Just looking through the deck, gonna go ahead and Bolt Storm there. 160. All right, this is big for Natalia here. Down three Electro Powers, though. It's gonna make taking a knockout a little bit harder here on the active. I don't think she has enough energies left with Boltoon V to actually do much. No, and of course, it already used her GX attack, so can't get that clean knockout down to only one prize but it'll be interesting to see how she can navigate uh the, these next couple turns has gone through a lot of her resources yeah again just 190 i think is the max that natalia can do this turn with a bolton v or something like zerora gx i'm thinking tag call Roll might be able find to Roll might be able to stay alive for a couple turns to actually take the game here. I mean, it, it, I mean, it looks like it, right? She, I, I don't think she can get the knockout this turn and then ne next turn. I mean, Rahul's hand still isn't looking great, but he does have whatever's on top of his deck plus the speed lightning energy. This is yeah, a really, the, the really back and forth too. game. The awkward part too is uh, the way Natalia's hand set up. Uh, if she actually wants to dig more with something like the Dene GX, she would have to resetting hole the Thunder Mountain Prism in play. So yeah, looking like the Quick Ball will find the Eldegoss V. Again, uh, one of the newer cards that's really putting in a lot of work in this format. We do see the Eldegoss. We do see the attachment. Looks like she's considering putting it on the Bolton, but just considering what to do here. 
Retreating to the Bolton cannot leave that Pikachu and Zekrom GX active. Again, she doesn't necessarily have to attach to it because of the Thunder Mountain Prism Star. She ultimately chooses not to, saving that energy attachment for later in the game. But that's 130. That is not enough. Yeah, and now it's up to Roll to see if he can take a knockout here or maybe even find something like Boss's Orders and take the game with taking the knockout on the damage Pikachu and Zekrom. Here's a Speed Lightning. No. No Boss so Orders, but he does find... A Power. reset stamp. And yeah, he's going to go ahead and just simply retreat to the bench, the fresh Bolton. There's another big attack here. And now the action's back on Natalia. Such a back and forth game. Natalia with only one card in her hand. Electromagnetic Ooh. radar, electric energy. That's not what you want to see. No, she can't really do oh, anything. Man. Where is the player's boss's orders? They play so many. <laughs> We're just not yeah, seeing Rahul, them draw it. We're whole even getting an extra couple looks at it with the uh, speed lightning, but no, nothing. Just both players just taking these, you know, not getting a knockout, just, you know, attaching and attacking turns here. Second energy on the uh, Zerora, and then we see... All right, this uh, is the last another screen attack. to really tell something. Another, okay, another speed, speed lightning. lightning. And he finds the, the boss's boss orders. orders. That's the game. He's able to that take the, the knockout game. here wow. with Storm. Wow, so and that, we're gonna have that a game three. Yeah, that was an incredible turn of events there. We see again Natalia did that big uh right you and Alolan right you play, got the big knockout. Rahul even responded in a better way, got the uh knockout back on the right you right you, but then both players just kind of didn't have much to do for a few turns there. But finally, Rahul found the boss's orders, and that that GX, the tag team GX play way back in the beginning of the game really paid off for him. Yeah, that was Roll's last turn to actually do something. Both of the Voltoon V were in easy knockout range for Natalia. So all she needed to do next turn was attack, and that was it. So Rahul drawing that speed like energy, and then being able to get that boss's orders for the game, it's going to be a close game three. And we are setting up here, both players going into game three. These players do not want to move to the loser's bracket this early in the tournament. These players want to move on. Looks like Rahul is going to take a mulligan. Pikachu and Zekrom GX is the start from Natalia. So we've seen one game where Natalia kind of enacted her game plan. We've seen one game where Rahul took a mo much slower, more consistent approach to the game. And now we're off on game three. Rahul will be going first. Like we've yeah, seen so I many times before. Bolton energy, big charm. Yeah, I think uh, Natalia actually just past the first turn there didn't want to get wait and see hammered or something like that it's like or cool yeah. Rahul chose to go first there we're seeing a quick ball Natalia been very careful about uh kind of um looking at what's going on in her deck checking her prizes checking the board state making sure everything is very clear. These matches mean so much to these players. And like yeah, we've Natalia's, seen all match, we're going to see another Bolton. Natalia's hand is looking really good here. The speed lightning energy to be able to draw some extra cards has the extra Pokemon to set up for next turn, as well as a Guzma and Hala to maybe find that Thunder Mountain Prism star if she needs to. It's looking really nice. We do see the Electro Power leading into the Bolton, and now we're going to see the Professor's research. Looks like she's going to go, trying to go all in here. Oh, this is big then. Having to discard a lot of resources, but does find some action for next turn as well. And we've seen Natalia generally not be afraid of that throughout the match. She did an aid um, kind of at the last point she could, but still when she had a lot of resources in hand. And then she played the research again. So we're seeing we're seeing her just kind of say, okay, I need to be explosive. I can I can... I can deal with having a lack of resources as long as my early game is strong. Yeah, we do see a second quick ball here. Gets that Tapu Koko Prism, so discarding some lightning energies will be pretty good. And this is looking like a solid turn one. And the explosive Tapu Koko Prism star, kind of the mark of the Pikachu and Zekrom GX decks. Yeah, and this Tepicoco turn isn't Prism over either. 
the 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 Dene GX in Natalia's hand, she could go even further if she wants to. Yeah, it looks like that's probably what she's considering now. Saying, okay, do, I'm going to drop this Pikachu and Zekrom. Do I do it? Am I am I do I want to get rid of this other supporter in my hand, or have I kind of done enough? Now do it's I even awkward need to make other actions. The- yeah, we just have the pass of the turn. If you drop the Pikachu and Zekrom and go all out, you're not going to have room for Zero or GX on your bench, and you won't really get a good attack off. I like the patience she's showing here. Yeah, being very, very conservative, very patient there, just saying I don't even need to use the Tugboko Prism Star yet. I just need to need to relax and let this game build. Does give Rahul the opportunity back on his turn. We're seeing a Green's Exploration for Tag Call, and something we haven't seen out of Rahul quite yet. Hasn't quite had the time until now, but Green's for another Green's is a common play with these sorts of decks, just letting you kind of continue to roll that card advantage into future turns. Yeah, and we're almost for sure going to see an Electrify from Rahul here. Uh, again, that's just how his deck really functions, uh, especially in this matchup. Uh, you just want to get as many energies as possible, and then that's when you start getting the ball rolling with these knockouts. There's a Pikachu and Zekrom hits the board. The bench Bolton now looks like it's going to be the recipient of that lightning energy. Oh, attaching it to the Pikachu and Zekrom before a clean electrify again. Rahul, as long as Natalia is play patient game, the, the Rahul is as well. All right, all the energy is on the Pikachu and Zekrom GX, though. So we've seen... Uh, this kind of backfire for Rahul in the past couple of games, but we'll have to see what Natalia really wants to do here. Uh, having access to Dance of the Ancients and just a ton of draw power from her hand, it, it's going to be something impressive. Looks like we are going to see that Pikachu and Zekrom hit the board now. Now is the time for Dance with Ancients when she can attach both to her uh, you know, potential attackers there. And now I got to think this hand is getting out of here one way or another. It looks like boss's orders, potentially the play for Natalia. Yeah. Here's the, the awkward thing though. Cause you kind of limit your resources. Uh, the professor's research means you can also do GX later on, but wow, this hands not too good here. Uh, just a lot of random cards that don't really do much. Yeah, going to go ahead and play a tag call here. You know, get that uh, Raichu and Raichu that we've seen do a lot of work for Natalia. Find the Malo and Lana as well, which we've seen do exactly zero work for her so far. Raichu and Raichu hits yeah. the board. Still has an energy to attach for the turn. So it'll be interesting to see if she goes with Electrify or Bolt Storm. It's looking like Electrify here, just really trying to get that Raichu and Alolan Raichu set up maybe. Uh, but yeah. it, it, it's going to be rough with Roll already having those three energy for full bolt in play. Yeah, just really relying on this uh, slower pace of gameplay, just saying, well, I don't I don't necessarily want to slow the game down, but if I'm going to, I want to set up so we can play as long. I want to I want to set up so that I can really leverage these tag team GXs and the big damage that they're able to do. And Rahul is saying, OK, well, you know, that, that that's fine with me. I'm trying to build up my board as well. Talia with a slight energy advantage here. Here's another Green's Exploration for Rahul. We'll see what he'll put together this turn. We've seen that great catcher be, uh, really seal games for him. Recently, that power plant, of course, without a stadium in play, uh, not quite not quite as good. Talia does have ways to, ways to work around it. Looks like we're just going to get a quick ball and, again, another Green's Exploration, making sure that the chain can go uh, next turn as well. Yeah, this is the unfortunate side of Roll's deck is you kind of just are stuck with these hands where they're like really supporter heavy. Absolutely. And, uh, Green isn't really the card that like gets you out of that. It just gets you more supporters, more trainers. Uh, he's really looking to find some energy here. Thankfully, Full Blitz will let him get some of those in play. Yeah, Rahul's deck in a lot of ways, I mean, it sounds kind of silly to say this when he's playing Pikachu and Zekrom GX, but the whenever I see a Green's deck, it always kind of reminds me of, you know, Pokemon in the older days when it was much, the game was much slower, it was much more about building card advantage over multiple turns. You do see Rahul just constantly pat, constantly starting his turns with a number of sub, different supporter options, you know, still taking big knockouts, still doing a lot of damage, but just kind of able to really, really sculpt his hand into what he wants it to be. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Natalia does reset stamps and Marnie's, so it's not the best matchup for him here, but he's seemingly making it work, and right now, in the driver's seat. 
Yeah, another part of the reason that Rahul was so successful last game, I mean, we saw we saw Natalia with reset stamp as an option to her uh, in either inner hand or off of Ultners multiple times. But uh, he, you know, keeping at three prizes uh, until winning the game just really, really let, really uh, got rid of all those uh, ability to just go. Okay, well, I'm going to reset stamp you to two. I'm going to reset stamp you to one. It was just no, I, you know, I have four, I have three cards in hand. I don't think you want to waste. I don't think you want to put me to three again. Just I'm I'm going to wait until I can actually win the game to take any more prizes. All right. Well, it looks like Roll has done some math here. Plays the Electro Power, and there is the Bolt Storm for the knockout, taking three prizes yet again. Yeah, big knockout oh, sorry, Natalia, for Nat Natalia doing it. Yeah, big big knockout for Natalia there. Electro Power makes that happen. Three prizes remaining. Of course, there are no three prize Pokemon on the other side. Uh, so it's going to be a few more well depending on how this pikachu and zekrom works out it may be a few more turns before she can actually seal up the game but again we're seeing rahul's um we're seeing rahul's tag team pokemon get punished here now the greens is going to find rahul a uh, reset stamp of his own we've talked a lot about uh reset stamp being so good versus rahul here shutting down those greens explorations but it looks like it might actually turn on natalia now as she's the first one to take a big knockout yeah again just Rolls needing to draw something from his deck that isn't just more supporters. Being uh, able to only play maybe one or two cards in a turn is not what you're looking for, especially when your opponent's taking these quick, big knockouts. Yeah, reset stamp and energy spinner. But again, you know, as much as we talked about the power of greens, look, look what just happened. You know, greens just found found a disruptive card. Sure, that's going to be big, and she has a huge hand. But just an you know, greens finding a turn five energy spinner, whatever it is, is not really. Uh, what you want to see a lot of the times in this format. Right, Instead, well, we do see a bolt big storm. bolt storm. We're all taking two prizes, but again, Natalia down to three, but that reset stamp put her to three, but both of the Pikachu and Zekrom are essentially fully charged up. Yeah, this th the reset stamp to three basically didn't matter when you factor in things like speed, lightning, energy, drawing more cards. She has the Marnie as well. Just this deck is just so full of action now. Three different supporters you can play, a quick ball, and a lightning energy. It even draws the boss's orders off that speed, lightning energy, uh, really being able to pull that Tapu Koko V to the active and deal some heavy damage here, taking the knockout with Tagpult, I believe. Looks like she's taking a second to consider, you know, using using up that uh, GX slot, uh, attack slot, and not developing her board more. But the knockout is definitely worth it. Not only taking two prize knockout, going down to one single prize, but also uh, destroying a bunch of the energy on Rahul's side of the board. And now it's really on Rahul to act. Only one prize remaining. We've seen we've seen uh, the the power of Natalia's deck. Rahul has Man, four more prizes. It's going to be very difficult for him to get these last four. Rahul just drew another supporter. I, I believe like every draw of this game has been a supporter from Rahul. Yeah, he's able to kind of take care of a few of them. We do see this Guzman Hala finding that speed lightning, not only to draw a bunch of cards, but the power plant as well. All right, but the power plant is not really good in face of that resetting whole Mars shadow. So here is the bolt storm and a pass back natalia is looking pretty good with just one prize left it's just a single prize left a bunch of energy on the board a fresh pikachu and zekram on the bench she can get rid of the power plant with mars shadow she even has the mallow and lana looks like she's considering playing an energy switch as well she has a wealth of options here just needs to try to figure out a way to close out this game as soon as possible yeah, well, you were saying that Malin and Lana wasn't really helping Natalia throughout these whole games. Well, it's big right here, essentially negating all of Roll's last turn, just leaving 10 damage on that Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Yep, and now she's free to just full blitz. That Malin and Lana is so powerful in the right spot. That's really the power of this kind of tag call engine is that you don't necessarily need supporter cards. You don't need to fill your cards with... Uh, with a lot of cards that just draw you cards or just provide card advantage, you can afford to kind of play these cards that are good situationally. And now she's just saying, okay, rule everything you did last turn basically doesn't matter. I'm going to do 150. Uh, and now it's back on you to kind of make something. You're behind on prizes. You're behind on the board. He does have another Bolton. Looks like we're going to see a switch into the second big charm Bolton on the bench. Yeah. And uh, with Natalia, she actually did not grab any, extra lightning energy you don't need anymore you already tag bolted for the game you just need a full blitz and having extra lightning in your deck is an easy way to get a 
retreat if Roll tries to bring something up. Yeah, very heads up play there by Natalia. It looks like this greens is going to find a reset stamp again, putting Natalia from four cards down to one. So again, a lot of the power of this deck is on the back of that greens into reset stamp. It just looks like Rahul is considering the last card to take, decides for the goes goes for the quick ball. And there's the stamp, and it's like we've seen so many times before. Okay, stamp. I'm gonna switch. I'll thin my deck out a bit with this supporter. There's another right, again. The thing to realize is Rahul is at four prizes. So even if he does find a way to take a knockout on the Pikachu and Zekrom GX in the next coming turns, he's still going to need to take another knockout. Yeah, exactly. He's just, it's just so, so difficult for Rahul to come back from a position like this because he just needs to deal with so much, you know, that the relying on the, the less explicit, the less explosive, but maybe a little bit more consistent Bolton deck is really not paying off for him here. Talia's hand did get disrupted from that reset stamp, leaving here with just an air balloon and an energy switch. Yeah, and we're probably just going to see a full blitz here. No real option in retreating unless you attach that air balloon just because you're going to lose all three of your energy. And if Roll does take a knockout here, you still just need one more knockout to take the win. Yeah, and putting as much pressure on the uh boltons as possible we do see that it looks like um natalia is deciding to retreat here just saying you know i don't even want to give you the opportunity for the knockout i would rather just keep putting pressure on you i don't want anything you know weird or unexpected to happen yeah and this time uh, she uh, is deciding enough, to thin the deck yeah funny enough with the reset stamp it shuffled back in the third lightning energy so she feels safe enough to grab the two to have multiple attackers set up now and then having the one left where she can search for it maybe later. All right, and what can Rahul do, do here? He has a lot of different options. You know, four supporters in his well, hand. Going to go for Yeah, he drew another supporter. <laughs> he's just he's going to go ahead and play the Cynthia and Caitlyn to get back the greens, draw some cards. Yeah, those were pretty good draws, actually. The Tapu Koko and the Speed Lightning Energy Gives him a little bit of extra attackers here. Uh, so, yeah, so this is the way to bring up the other Bolton. Yeah, this is the way that he can kind of power up the other Bolton. Really needed that Tapu Coco Prism Star. And now he can see a similar to play to play to what we've oh. seen kind of all game. Unfortunately, which is just here, him though, retreating. Yeah, uh, him having to retreat, not having a switch to get out of there. You lose 60 damage there. So. He's really opting just to go for the great catcher on this Pikachu and Zekrom, take the knockout, and hopefully shore up the victory next turn. Discards the boss's orders. That's very interesting. I think he's just realizing I need to I need to take a knockout here. I need to get these prizes. I need to just find something else to do and really put pressure on my opponent. Yeah, and if I remember that, uh, Natalia's hand is just that energy switch. But she top decks the uh, boss's well, orders. And that's the game here. Natalia yeah. top decks that boss's orders. Full blitz for the knockout. Natalia wins this match two to one. That just has to feel so bad as Rahul. You know that's a possibility, but you're trying so hard. You're kind of grinding away with this greens exploration. And then you just get bosses ordered out of the game. So what that match, what that match, and especially that game really told me was just. I don't know if this Bolton deck is even better than the traditional Pikachu and Zekrom decks at playing the long game, right? That game went so long, you know, that, that game was just kind of trading um, non-knockout damage, and Natalia still got there. Yeah, I feel like uh, the way Natalia built her deck uh, as the kind of traditional Pikachu and Zekrom that we've seen uh, these past couple of weeks online is... I'm just going to be resilient. I'm going to hit really hard, big number knockouts. And meanwhile, 